Good morning, Beulah Church family and friends. I pray that you are blessed this beautiful Friday morning and what a glorious week we have had. We're somewhat back to normal here in the church office. It's great to have Suzanne back and uh, Daniel in full swing. And um, if you've been in the offices, you'll know that our church offices have been uh, remodeled and relocated and are now complete. So come by and see us, check out our new spaces. Suzanne and her new administrative space, Pastor Daniel and I in our new offices. Uh, we're excited to share that with you. And also, you know, every Friday morning we gather for a word of encouragement, uh, share praises and prayer concerns. And today I'm not bringing a devotion from a book. I'm just going to read scripture for you. One of my favorite portions of scripture, and it's from the book of Lamentations. I was talking to someone this morning who is going into surgery today, and she was concerned about her asking God questions or um, insisting to know why, why things happen and why things have to be difficult. And I reminded her that the Bible is full of lament. The Bible is full of people asking questions and wrestling with their faith and trying to interpret the why of life. And God is big enough for our praises and God is big enough for our prayer concerns. God's big enough for our whys and our wondering. And so I prayed for her and invited God to fill her with peace. And whatever you're going through today, maybe it's a mountaintop experience. And I want to invite you to remember that God is there with you and not forget why, why or how you made it there. But also if you're in the valley, maybe encountering surgery or difficult recovery from surgery this week, or you're just feeling down and depressed and you're asking God why, why God is this happening to me? I want you to know that God is big enough and he's there with you to answer that why. So from the book of Lamentations, this is one of my favorite portions of scripture. And if you know me well, I have a lot of favorite things. And this is one of my favorite things. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22. Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed because God's compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I hope in God. So whatever you're encountering today, maybe a mountaintop experience, God's with you. And he wants you to be reminded that you didn't get there alone. It's in that uh, gifting of everyday life, of his compassions and him never failing that you made it to the top of that mountain and you're rejoicing there in that spot. Or if you're walking through the valley, remember the words of David, yea, though I walk through the very shadow, the valley of a shadow of death, God, you're with me. And so whatever you're encountering today, whether lamenting or rejoicing, God invites us to know that God is present. God is with us and he can handle whatever it is we bring his way. So be encouraged today and be blessed on this Friday as you begin a brand new weekend and know that God is with you and he can handle what it is you ask him, bring to him, or want to know this day because he's, he's wonderful. God is a wonderful God and we're thankful. So I pray that today already you've encouraged, you've been encouraged by a brand new day that God's given you. And for that reason, we choose to rejoice. You'll note that I'm outside my new office. Maybe you don't know that because you haven't been in yet. And I've already invited you to come, but this space for me has been a blessing. It's sort of like a mountaintop experience because I have forever dreamed about what this would look like to move our administrative offices to the front of the church and to move the pastors to the, an area uh, that um, we can be more private and have opportunities for counseling and sharing with individuals. So I thank God. But even in this week of me thanking God and seeing all the beautiful things that have happened, I've had low experiences where I've been saddened or received news that made me sad or have a child who's been sick and and thinking about the future of the church. And I, so I have to pause today, today, today and say, God, I thank you for the mountaintop experiences of this week. I'm sitting right in the middle of it and I'm thankful. But in my heart, I'm also burdened. And I come to you and ask you today, God, give me an opportunity to understand the why of life. And maybe not the answer, but just your presence is all I need today. So I pray that you'd be encouraged that God's presence is your gift in this day. And the, and the writer of the book of Lamentations invites us to rejoice that God's mercy is new every single morning. We come together on Friday mornings to hear the good news and also to share prayer concerns. Uh, you should have received an email yesterday afternoon from, afternoon from Suzanne. If you're not getting the church-wide emails, we need you to give us a call here in the church office at 804-275-2325. And Suzanne will get you on that mailing list so that every Thursday you get an email with updates for the church calendar, announcements for the week's worship services, and prayer concerns. So if you're not getting that, reach out to the church office and we'll get you connected. But a couple of prayer concerns I want to share today. We want to pray for Dale Childry's family. Dale asked uh, concerns, uh, prayer concerns to be lifted up for her niece, Laura, and for her sister, Cindy. We pray for Sue Jones, uh, the cousin of Jeremy Skaggs, 
Um, and we also pray for David Van Warmer. He's a young man that reached out to us this week in need, and so we were able to assist him through our pastor's discretionary funds, but he needs direction in his life. And so we pray for David today. For Mary Ann Cuban with a broken wrist, uh, who's recovering from surgery. Walt, Walt Hayden, uh, recovering from a broken angle, ankle. Haley Cole, recovering from hip surgery. So all of these people who are recovering in our church today, we lift them before the Lord. And we also want to remember to pray for Della Delbridge, our sister in Christ, Doris Hobart, and Bobby Hudson. Uh, these are all individuals who need our uh, prayer today. Maybe they're in the mix, uh, mix of a valley experience, and we want to lift them before the Lord, that they understand that God is with them even in that experience today. So let's go before the God in prayer, and then we're going to close with a couple of announcements. Let's pray together. God, you are so very good to us. Your word encourages us even today in the book of Lamentations, which literally means our lament God, we come before you and we acknowledge that you indeed are our portion. You are all we need, God, whether we're on the valley, in the valley, or on the mountaintop, God, we, we admit that we need you. And God, we, we lift our praises to you. We lift our cries of brokenness and hurt to you today, God, and ask that in the mix of it all, you reveal yourself to us, God. You be our peace. You be our hope. You be our future as you have been our past. We lift before you the praises of our hearts, Lord setting in this space for me as a praise, as well as our concerns, which you've heard named before you already today, Lord. God, in your mercy, hear the concerns of the hearts of your people. God, we praise you. We look forward to worshiping you together in this sacred space this weekend. So prepare our hearts today, not only to worship you on Sunday, but to worship you today and tomorrow. And let the world around us see you in us, is our prayer. We thank you and we praise you and we lift before you now our praises in the name of Christ. Amen. I want to remind you that we are in person for worship on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. Uh, we invite you to join us here in the sanctuary. We are working diligently to provide a superb online worship service. So hopefully on Sunday morning, we'll be able to connect live with YouTube and Facebook. This is our goal. So look forward to that if you can't be here on Sunday morning. And throughout the week, next week, all kinds of opportunities to connect. So look at your calendar of events and join us here. I want to again thank you for your superb, is a good word, support. Uh, always faithful, praying for the church, supporting the church in your time and your talents, uh, lifting before the Lord um, opportunities of service. You're always faithful, and for that I'm thankful. And I want to thank you for your financial support, being able to do what we want to do and what God wants us to do is an important part of life and ministry. So thank you for your financial support. Know that we love you. We're praying for you. And we hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.